Oh, there it is. It's on. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I'm increasingly playing active. Sorry about that. I did get help. My YouTube two channel went and load up so I can record. So my wife is straightening it out for me. Sorry about that. Hello. Welcome to my channel. My topic is today about the Indians in Oregon, Oregon State. I think. Um, the time now is 7.07 a.m. Tuesday morning. And what they did to these Indians in Oregon State here in so-called America, why are you going to take away somebody recognition, federal recognition? Actually, in reality, it's a bunch of bureaucratic bullshit. Um, Indians didn't need no fair rec recognition because they was here, we was here first, and I, I don't like that. Uh, they were trying to dictate to tell people who they are. They do that to all people of color, especially indigenous people, and I, I, I had it with the people and stuff like that. That's why I wear war paint every day. I'm at war, you know, with the government and all the bureaucratic crap they be talking about. Before I go on, I must give praises to the Most High, as my Lakota brothers say, many machone, water is life. Without water, you can't survive. If you like what I'm saying, comment and share and prescribe. I also have a GoFundMe page for my Indian brothers in Pueblo Village in New Mexico. They need stoves, so, you know, the stoves. Used to cost three ninety five. I don't know how much they is now. They need help when I get up with my money right. I'm going there in person to help them buy the stoves myself to make sure they get them stuff like that. But what I was getting back to, um, they always do that. It, it, any anything in America, like when I went to the hospital, they had put on my wife trying to they trying to assume what you are. And they, they don't ask you, so they put down there that she was white. My wife said, I'm not white. I'm a, I'm an indigenous person. I'm Cherokee and Shoshone and stuff like that. I'm mean, not saying Shoshone. People don't even know what I'm talking about. That's the plains. These Indians come from Wyoming and places like that. Um, when I said plains, a lady said, oh, you talking about an airplane? I said, no. See, the people don't, they don't hear about the other parts of the um, United States. They just hear about this side. But, like, when I went to Fox with the casino, and um, the lady, I was checking in, me and my wife and son, uh, do you have a tribal card? Because when you have a tribal card, you get, like, a discount on the room or something. So I said, no. I said, my face is my introduction. So the manager said, give him the rate. Why are you asking somebody something like that? And 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 they got a lot of nerve. Uh, and the person know that he didn't need no federal recognized because they try to that so they dictate in your life. They do that all the time. That's why a lot of Indians live off the grid, right? In California, they have nothing to do with the United States government because they don't treat people right. And you would feel like I, I got upset yesterday, but I calmed down. You would feel feel like uh people of color outcast you. I had went to a the church gave a barbecue Cookout. I didn't know you couldn't go there unless you was, you know, so called black, because they don't know what that means either. So I, I don't know what, what the problem was. So when I asked for a burger, I could see they were looking at me. I felt like I was, you know, out of place. It's like you in a classroom with just white students, you don't want to look around. You would feel out of place, but I should have no reason to feel out of place because they people of color too. And what their people went through wasn't right either. So y'all going to try to put that white mentality on me with that they embedded in y'all brains. They didn't, uh, so I asked for a burger. She gave it to me, so I already got bad vibes. It's like a dog or a cat. Any animal, if he feel that you're vibing right, he not going to come to you no matter what you say. 
So that's how I felt. I said, can I have a burger? And she said, sure. Then I came back. I said, can I have one for my wife? She didn't want to give it to me. And uh, so I went on to ask the pastor. I said, I didn't know he was a pastor. He said, yeah, this is you, the second person came to me and said that. The, the food for the, for the community, like a lot of people home, they live in shelter, they don't have food. And some shelter, they don't have, they don't have cooking facilities. So they don't eat like a person, like I have a refrigerator, apartment, you know, everybody not fortunate like that. But I was homeless in New York. I know what that feels like. So she didn't want to give me this burger. And she said, are you, is you an Indian? I said, yes. Why don't you go to your own people? Like that was just for black only. And so I walked away from her in the past. I said, Jesus, when he walked to earth, he didn't put a limitation on food. He fed everybody regardless of what color you was. He didn't see color back then. But now everybody see color today. And they that, that's what's messing up the uh, the world today. People eat another. They don't they put that in your mind. You got blacks that don't even like other blacks. A uh, girl told me they don't. That's that white mentality. They they you know, that they put in them. And, uh, but what I'm saying, this is going to be called forgotten, forgotten Indians and forgotten indigenous people. But they, I, uh, some, like some Indians, I, I prefer to be called indigenous, but since they don't put it, some other people ask me why I'm, I'm an Indian. I said, yeah, but the Indians really is from India. Places like that. Columbus did that. Like I said before, many times in my other videos, he did that, but he didn't want to, the, the navigators didn't want to take him where he wanted to go. And the navigators on Christopher Columbus' ship, they was called the Nino brothers. It was three brothers. They was black, but they was raised by Spaniards because they were slaves. That's why they spoke Spanish. Columbus wanted to go to India and Japan. If he hadn't went to Japan, we wouldn't be really hearing about him no more because the Spanish did not like the Japanese, I mean the Japanese did not like the Spanish at, at that time, over 500 years ago, because they would have cut his head. We wouldn't be hearing nothing about Columbus today. They make him out a martyr. He, you know, he wasn't nothing but a butcher, a murderer, and a slave trader. He had slaves, too. They don't mention that. So that's the same thing I'm saying. And this person should know, know a culture. This person, he know that there were no such thing as reservations and federally recognized. They put, they made you feel recognized so they can keep track of you by the government. Indigenous people never got a, a fair shot and stuff like that. I told the, the lady, I said, you going to be mean to me and knowing your people was enslaved by European people and European descent people. And, and not that I'm being afraid, even a black lady told me that was there. She, that's why when sometimes a black person have an event, she don't go because they don't, some don't know how to act. Those kind, those is ghetto. You can't put a label on everybody that just stupid individual. And I, I felt really bad, so I left after I was the burger. The master, the, uh, the pastor walked over. He said, I'm going to check her because she's from my congregation. And I, she said, he said, you're absolutely right. When Jesus walked the earth, he didn't put limitations on food. And stuff like that, or limitation of how who gonna live, who's gonna die. He didn't never do none of that stuff. He fed everybody, no matter what color you is. They got these hate groups out here, and they treat, they treat, um, they preach, they use the, the crutch to make what they say. They make the Bible justify what they say. But they be saying they don't hate people, they really do hate certain people. But the creator that created you had to create the people that you hating and stuff like that. And people like my mother said when a person um fixate on one thing, always talking about gay people this, gay people that on the nines out of ten, he's he's they undercover himself. That's why he always every time he get a chance, he blast a gay person. They make it like everything is from the Bible. That's come from his own minds and thoughts. That's how he really feel. So he 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 used the Bible as his pimp and stuff like that. They they did it. People clam to the same thing. How you gonna preach from the Bible telling people, people that black people, um, the Bible is not for them? That is a, a evil, dumb-minded, stupid person like on Martin. He's a criminal mind. It's a stupid mind. It is. But, but I was saying, don't tell no let nobody tell you who you are. 
They'll try and dictate you. It's like my Indian brother Lightfoot. He, he played Indian to cover. He said, I heard him make a speech one time. He said, I don't need no tribal part, you know, to know who I am. That's that's the man trying to tell you who you are. He's making you be what you are under his rule. It's like when you go to school, everything, I'm not being racist, but everything you learn in school is, is, is white people uh, um, stuff. You have to learn their stuff and your stuff. That's why this girl told me she was trying to make me get jealous of her wife. If you got a white boyfriend, I've I seen many of that. I got, I got white people in my family. So she said, I, mean, I said, I looked at her and I said, I got a bachelor's degree. I wouldn't have had a mess with a black man and stuff like that. Now, let me tell you something. That bachelor degree you got, that doesn't mean you got a degree in white man knowledge. But that's his piece of goddamn paper. And I'm not speaking bad about nobody, but that is. That's why you must learn Spanish in school or French. Those are the conquerors that came here. So, that's what I'm saying. More power to people when you do that. I don't judge anybody. Even if a girl had six boyfriends, I wouldn't judge her. I place a judge her. You can just pray for her soul and her spirit to get free of this lynch. Or, you know, that's, you know, I hate men's like that. So, that's it for now. I just want to put that little snippet out there. And I hope everybody have a blessed day. Don't to die when you go. Take care and have a blessed day. Y'all wish. I mean, thank you. And, oh, nay, I mean, goodbye. So, I talk to you later. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day. Thank you.